Hello my fellow humans and welcome back to another daily dice where we ask the dice for a message and find out what that is. I do want to say thank you to anyone and everyone that continues to be a supportive part of this journey, this channel, this ever-growing tribe. I'm truly honored to be sharing this time and space with you. And for anyone new here, welcome. This is that reminder that we are all here sharing this human experience, that this is a safe space to show up as your highest, most aligned, loving, authentic self. And should these messages happen to resonate with you, it would mean so much to me if you were to like, comment, and subscribe below. Today we are getting a message from Archangel Michael. It's a message that you didn't know you needed. So we do have the Archangel Michael Sword of Light Oracle that we're going to be getting a card from today. I've already given him enough shuffle. So Archangel Michael, what is the message that my fellow humans didn't know they needed today? What Oracle card will help us better understand this? Archangel Michael, what is the message that my fellow humans didn't know they needed today? All right, thank you. On the bottom of the deck, we have let it go. The situation no longer serves you. Allow me to sever the energetic connections to the past so you can embrace the future. Okay, so we're trying to let something go. Let me get these out of the way over here. All right, let's get into it. So Archangel Michael, what is the message that my fellow humans didn't know they needed? What is the message that you have that they didn't know they needed today, Archangel Michael? Archangel Michael, what is the message they didn't know they needed? Okay, so we've got the 11th house, Aries energy and Mercury. It's interesting because all of a sudden when I saw these, I heard, I like felt a lot of opposing energies, even though air and fire do go together, especially in the Zodiac wheel, right? Like they do go together. You'll see a lot of fire signs and water and, and air signs together, water and earth, right? But it was interesting. I felt like this was a lot of opposing energy because you have this Aries energy here that's just like explosive energy. It's like can be aggressive it can be something that's very over the top very abrasive energy but it's very explosive and it's very new energy coming in asking you to step into this leadership position among like-minded people here with the 11th house friends family this could be humanitarian beliefs situations that you have whatever it is that you feel really called to do it's so vital at this time that you step up and you lead them and i feel like this the opposing energy that i'm feeling here is that you're feeling like you don't have a right to speak on what it is that you feel like you need to speak on and they're saying that's absolutely not true archangel michael is saying like you've been given this gift to share it in a very viable way that's easily broken down for others to understand it, to grasp it, to internalize it, to heal from it, to move on from it, to take action based on it, whatever the case may be. But the opposing energy is actually just a resistance that's coming from you and you're comp comparing yourself to others or feeling like it's a competition or feeling like, well, where am I going to stand at? I don't have a leg to stand on. And there, Archangel Michael is saying that's not true. Like you've been given this, this is a part of your mission. This is a part of your journey and it's meaning it's meaningful to you when you truly pour into it. Right. Whether that's through uh, social media, some sort of technology that you're trying to build, something that has to do with science, some sort of speaking out to others, really feels like speaking out to others, but it could be anything. Uh, this is about your hopes and dreams and wishes coming true and the future and what that looks like for you, but really having this impact on society and knowing that you are protected and that there's a purpose for everything, but if you're hiding behind it because you feel like you don't, measure up to other people you're not seeing the beauty of what you have to offer and the beauty of what you have to offer is something that's unique and especially with mercury energy here it's talking about healing of the throat chakra and archangel michael can absolutely help with that with his sword of truth he can absolutely help clear your throat chakra for you so that you feel uh, stationary, stationary enough. So you feel comfortable enough to speak on your truth, to speak that out into the world. Let's get some more messages here. Archangel Michael, what is the message they didn't know they needed? We've got the five of Gabriel. 
So it's a challenging or a challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. And that's a very powerful message, right? Having patience with yourself. I think that's a main key here is like you have to have patience with yourself and know you're not going to come running out of the gate being 100% perfect. None of us are like even for those of us that have been doing this for a long time. Like, let me I'll break it down for you. A lot of people see this channel and this channel has been up since last February. Right. I'm coming around to what is that year and a half, a little bit over a year and a half now. OK, that's just this channel. I've been speaking on social media since before. What was it? 2018. OK, before that, I was a trainer and I spoke to people to train them to do things. And I was I've been doing that since 2012. But see, it's like when I first started, I had so many quirks and weird things that were coming out. Like I used to stamp the floor when I would talk to people, just randomly pick up my foot and stamp the floor. And it was so, so noticeable that it got every time I spoke to a group of people, they always said that. Why do you stamp your foot on the floor? And I was like, I didn't even know that I did that. Right. So. I've had years and years and years of practice and it's not about you comparing yourself to me. It's about understanding this process you have to go through, right? You're not going to come out running out of the gate being really excelled at this. And maybe you will. Some people do, but what they're saying is like, if you're afraid and you're letting that fear get the better of you, you're never going to get better. You have to start somewhere. We're all beginners at one point. We have the four of Ariel. When you give, you also receive. Be Being resistant to change. I can't make this up. There's this resistance that's coming in. Extremes in how you save or spend money. But it's the resistance. There's a resistance to doing this. Right? And it feels like because of com comparing yourself or really feeling like other people are better than you. And that's not fair to you and what you have to offer. We have the Ten of Michael, which is the Ten of Swords. A situation has ended. You are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will follow. Put the past behind you. But I also, when I think of the Ten of Swords from the Tarot Marseille, it's this constant battle between shadow and light. And it's as much as you are light is as much as it is shadow. And so just consistently doing things over and over again and expecting different results it's like, well, if I just sit here and think about it, and if I dream about it, then one day it'll be true. But if you never take action on it, it won't. And that's what it feels like. The shadow side is winning. The fear side is winning here. And so for you to end this situation, for you to let it go, it means that you have to take action and to not get stuck in that place of resistance, but rather seeing that fear is something that you can face and you absolutely have the courage and the endurance to face it. Okay. A lot of Gemini energy here. This is Leo energy as well. But Gemini is all about taking strides with how you communicate, how you network, how you socialize, what you learn and what you share with others. Okay, so it's important for you to share. That's the main thing coming through here is to share what it is that you want to share with others. Okay. Sorry, my whole table is full of cards today. It's the Daily Dice Day. <laughs> so I have almost every deck out. No, that's not true. I have a huge amount of decks out though. So we've got Sky Father, Trust in the Unknown. And like you have the Eagle here, right? Seeing things from a higher perspective, but flying with the sky is also in the air element. And that's talking about that speaking again, right? When you think of the air element, it's all about our throat chakra, our heart chakra, and really being able to get that out, right? The wind makes sound, the wind blows. And so there's something here that's blocking your heart chakra that's keeping you from speaking this truth, but it's important for you to see things from this higher perspective. With this being the sky father, I feel like it's important for you to be that you know, when we have a healthy father figure in our lives, they lift lift us up by being constructive criticism, right? It's like, you're doing an amazing job. Have you tried it like this? It's not, you need to do it like this, or, oh my gosh, you're such a failure. You should have done it this way. No, a, a father who is in a healthy space is going to say, like, you're doing a great job. Have you tried it this way too? Like, they're going to give suggestions. So it's important for you to be that healthy figure for yourself, on the bottom, we have the high priest, intend and create. Something about birds here, too, as well. Birds are very, very synchronistic for you, but it's important for you to set your intentions and then go off and create what it is that you're intending to create, right? If you're not setting intentions, then you're not going to get where you want to go. Let me grab one of these. 
earth magic falling out with epona earth magic grounding yourself is important too a vital part of your journey well wow, right away this card came out brigid you are a healer okay so we do see for some coming in you might be healing others I feel like for most of you that are resonating with this, whatever it is that you have to offer is healing. It is healing. Look, Inanna, believe in yourself. If you're not believing in yourself, no one else will. You can't just expect one day to wake up and be like, oh, people are going to believe in me, but you don't believe in yourself. That's not ever going to happen. That's not how it works. Let's find out if there's an archetype that would like to be present on this reading. Archangel Michael, what is an archetype that will help us? We have Avenger. The light is desire to balance the scales of justice, righteousness on behalf of society or oneself, and the shadow is resorting to violence in the name of a cause. So I feel like the thing here is that you have something that you want to stand up for that is severely, is a huge detriment to society, to society and the people around you. 11th house energy. This is 11th house energy. And you want to speak on it. Maybe it's saving the world. Maybe it's recycling more. Maybe it's helping people understand the process of composition or, uh, or composting. Maybe it's helping people understand why we need to help other societies and other communities and lift them up. Whatever it is, you're helping to heal that disconnect in the world. And that's why it's so vital that you need to get yourself out there. On the bottom, we have bully. Ah, uh, now we see why it's hard for you. So we have highlight your tendency to intimidate others. Helps you confront your inner fears that bully you. That's what we're saying. And then it says the shadow is conceals deep fears behind verbal or physical abuse. Okay. So we see here that your fear has been a bully to you for quite some time. And that's why it's been difficult for you to do this. But now Archangel Michael is asking you to ask him for that assistance, for that help, for that clearing, and then being open to receiving that. So let's see what his message is to you today. You are protected. You are safe within my bubble of light. You can proceed with confidence. So I'm going to read this from the book. 39. Yeah, I think the fear is that people are going to break you down or beat you down and, and you're so much more protected than you realize. Zaya placed you in my personal sphere of sapphire blue light to keep you safe. My sword and shield are also defending you against any unwanted energies. I'm protecting you now from physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual harm. The security is meant to give you the confidence necessary to progress on the path you were inspired to walk. Exactly. I love this. Already, Archangel Michael already knew. That's it. It's time for you to have this confidence. When you are in a place of fear regarding your physical, emotional, spiritual safety, think of me and say, Dear Archangel Michael, please be with me here and now so that I can feel safe and act from a place of courage. You can say this aloud or quietly in your mind. The way in which you reach out doesn't matter, only that you do. Picture me walking beside you throughout the day because I am. Oh my gosh, I love this message so much for you. Such a beautiful message. If you felt like this was your message, leave the little shield emoji down below and say, I know I'm protected and that this gives me the confidence to step on the path of my highest light and love. And if it resonated with you, it means so much to me if you're to like, comment, and subscribe below. If you are interested in supporting the channel further, you'll find all those links in the description box. To do so, you can email me for a personal reading and follow me on over to my podcast on Spotify at Scatter Love Radio. You can even join as a member and I would love to see you on membership. So if not, thank you so much for your continued support here. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and leave this here and get on out of here. But I do want to take a quick second to thank your guides, your spirit messengers, your angel source, my spirit guides, and a special shout out to Archangel Michael for coming through today and until next time stay human bye